Good morning, everybody. Great to have you along on The Morning Show. Our Liam Boo joins us now. You went, like, into the rabbit hole, my man. We yeah. all are familiar with Google. You went into it. Yep, Google Canada. So over five floors at their office, 43,000 square feet, and uh, roughly around 150 employees at this location. So I said, hey, you know what? Let's pluck one of the 150 and hang out with them, and here's what I found out. My name is Alexandra Cohn, and I'm a senior industry analyst here at Google. My job is to understand what happens in retail in Canada, what e-commerce looks like, but also how consumers and Canadians use technology to shop. I applied to Google many times over the years, and it was probably about my fourth application uh, where I was successful. So I had actually gone with a friend to her ultrasound and she was about to see her baby for the first time when I got the call that I got the job at Google uh, and I think my tears were probably more than hers. Ultimately it's, it's about encouraging people to move around in a literal sense um, whether you're in the gym or at your standing desk or uh, in a more metaphorical sense to basically spend time um, interacting outside away from your desk where those, those eureka moments can happen. This is the ice cream floor. Uh, we have ice cream in the freezer, but by far the best part about this floor and what most Googlers, Googlers here really love is the Froyo machine. Now I'm ready to work. So now we're going to see one of my favorite rooms, which is our secret library. So if you follow me. So this is a great place to escape to if you just want to step away from your desk and refresh, meet with other colleagues, and have some privacy. Welcome to our secret library. It's a really cozy room, uh, and I love the fact there's a Scrabble board that you get to play with. <laughs> Me. Uh, <laughs> Kelly Catrone, i got to ask. So yeah. at Google Canada, they have a secret library. They have a Froyo machine. What's at your office? Like PR office in New York. I've always been curious. We have a bed upstairs on the fifth floor for Fashion Week naps and, and, and visiting temple priests, skaters, oh. painters, cute yeah. guys that we like to stash up there, you know, <laughs> that are friends from bed? around the world. It's not communal, but it's like, it's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a room for weary travelers who happen to be really hot and talented. Oh, they get put up on the fifth floor. What else do we have? We have espresso machines. We have um, power drinks, um, okay. a lot of organic food. Um, so we have a dirty of, kitchen in the back. Yeah. <laughs> we have video That's games. nothing compared to Google or People's Rev, our well, kitchen. I, I think that a lot of times that people make offices comfortable, like we have a bed because during Fashion Week, we want our people to stay in the office and keep working. Right. Work. right. So and sometimes. that's the same with Google Canada because they have a gym in, in there, they have lunch, they have breakfast served in there for free. And if you think about it, it's smart because it keeps productivity up. People won't leave for extended lunches. They go down, grab the food, go back up. Right. And standing desk too. Yeah. It's, it's an interesting take on office culture when you look at Google or Facebook or all these other types of uh, new media You're companies. You're so right though, Kelly. I think it's the same thing. Like, it's great. It looks mm -hmm. amazing. But ultimately, the employer wants you to stay at work. I think it's about lifestyle right now. I think we do have to leave for lunch. I mean, looking back at how many nights that I stayed up all night and worked all night and produced fashion shows, I regret that I didn't have better boundaries between my work life and my personal life. Mm -hmm. And I think it is really important to get out of the office. I mean, who wants to be an elliptical machine with your coworker? <laughs> 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 Whoa, how's it going? No, no, don't worry. No. Edith is coming right down. Get that document on your thing. Like, can you imagine your boss yeah. like, hey, Jack, what's up? So like, would ah. you be excited about that if your office had a secret bookcase that opened to a secret room and like no, a No, I put a machine? camera in there. You got to watch the PR. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I think someone during our meeting was asking the question, does any hanky panky going on in there? I think I said that. I mean, what goes on in this private room? I know, in this secret room. See, I'm a simple girl. I'll take the yogurt. That'll be, that'll yeah. be yeah. part two <laughs> of Liam's investigation. Coming up next, 